Hi everyone. Um, just getting myself sorted here so that I can see what is um, going on as well. So hopefully I um, don't have any issues. Um, hope everybody's keeping well and you've had a nice Easter, even if it wasn't maybe your, your normal kind of Easter, getting um, out and about and being able to visit people. Um, and yeah, so we've had two weeks now of the first block of um, Mike's at home workout. So it's now it's time to change things up a bit and push things on a wee bit further. So we have um, the second block of exercises released today. That's up on our website and we'll be putting the videos up on our YouTube channel as well. So if um, you don't get a chance to look at this today, you'll be able to catch up um, at a later time. So what I'm going to do is just get myself set up here and um, we'll go through the um, session one of the block two exercises. So um, all you need is, let's see, I'm just going to set this here. Um, all you need is your water bottle and we had said that to get a backpack. All right, and that's just to add a bit of weight um, to the exercises and the movements that we're doing. Okay, so I have a backpack here and I probably have a four books here and I can take out and add into them as we go through, seeing as Mike has got us doing some um, weighted press-ups. So I'll definitely not be having a full backpack for those ones. All right, so to get started, um, I also, just to point out, um, it's a good idea to do the mobility session that Mike has put together as well, just before you start these exercises, just to make sure that the ankles are as loose as possible, the hips are nice and open, and we can really get the most out of the session. Again, that's on our website and um, on our YouTube channel as well. And finally, all these exercises, uh, we're trying to talk you through them um, and to give you as much coaching points um, and the things to look out for as we go through. If you're feeling any sort of pain, um, adjust the exercises, take away the weight um, and just move back um, or cut the, the amount of numbers of repetitions that you're doing just so that you're doing them comfortably and you're getting the benefit out of them um, and not doing yourself any sort of injury. Mike is also online watching now as well, so ask him any questions if there's any of the movements that I'm doing that you don't understand or um, just have any questions about. All right, so we'll get going with um, our first group of exercises. As I say, it's our backpack squats. So I'm just going to put um, my Jamie Oliver cookbook in here, Paul O'Connell's autobiography, and Mary Berry Bacon Bibles back out again, and another book there. I'm just just getting those into um, the backpack. So stick that on, and we're starting off with 20 squats, just using our backpack as a bit of weight. Now you can use tins of food, you can use textbooks, um, also if you do have a kettlebell you could use that as well. All right, But we're just getting a good setup, so feet are about hip width apart, I'm making sure that the weight's through the toes and the heels and I'm keeping the shoulders and the chest nice and open and upright and then we're just going into our squats. So again, going down for three and pressing up for one. All right, down for three and pressing up for one. And that, as we come down, and then lifting back up again, I just realized I can't see my head. <laughs> so as you come down and then pressing back up again, keeping open across the shoulders, as you come down, keeping the chest up and then lifting back up again. Now, if you do have a kettlebell, you can use that as well. I have my kettlebell here. So I'm just do another five with this. So I'm just tucking the elbows in by my ears, or in by my sides, and the um, kettlebell's just under my chin. And again, coming down, and then pressing back up again. All right, so coming down slow, pouring up through the ground. This is us practicing all this jumping and getting the power as we elevate off the ground then. Okay, so that's our first, first exercise in, um, in group A. The second one is our backpack push-ups. 
So get that backpack on again. And we're just going to come into our press up position. Okay, so hands directly underneath our shoulders. Go and make sure our tummy is engaged to support our lower back because the weight's wanting to push us down. Alright, so engage the tummy muscles to start off with. And then I'm just going to slide one leg back and the other leg back to come into our plank position. From here, keeping the elbows tucked in, just going to come down and then press up again. And come down and press back up again. Now if you're losing your form, that's alright. Then we'll just come onto our knees and do the same again. Just move the cushions out of the way. Come down and then pressing up. And Mike has us doing 20 of these, okay? Again, just in your own time. Working through them. Trying to keep that straight line of your body, so head, rib cage, hips and knees, all in a straight line. And just bending at the arms, at the, um, at the elbows. So we'll do two more here. And then that's group A done, and we'll get to take a wee bit of a break. So we'll have our 60 seconds for a bit of recovery. Just going to check to see. Um, we're getting on. So then we can take our recovery time here. You will go through those exercises another three times. So do our back, uh, backpack squats and then our backpack push-ups. And like, as it gets more difficult as you go through the sets, maybe just take a couple of books out of the bag to ensure that you can still get the full um, set of numbers in. So I'm just going to take a full minute here, just so that um, I'm actually able to speak. And then we'll get on to the next two, um, two sets of um, exercises. So the first one is our Bulgarian split squat. So that's where we have our back leg elevated off the ground. And again, we're going to be using our backpack just for a bit of weight um, and to um, increase the difficulty of the exercise. The second one is a new one. So it's going to be our backpack thrusters. And that's where we're putting a squat and pressing the bag up overhead. And we're doing both those movements together. All right, let's get to it. So, we'll get the backpack on again. Making sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to use my chair to start off with. Alright, so um, I'm going to put my right foot up on the chair behind me. And then just stepping forward. And I'm trying to keep my body as upright as possible. And I'm just coming down and I'm pressing up. Nice and strong, and keep a balance. It's a bit of balance work here as well. I'm a wee bit wobbly today. All right, so down and then lifting up. Down and lifting up. So we're going down for count of three, and then pressing up for one. Down and up. Trying to keep that chest upright, head up. So just keep looking forward and dropping down and pressing up again. Oops. Arms out if you need to keep your balance. And we're doing 15 on the left leg, and then we'll do 15 on the right leg as well. And just to show you that from the front, so I'm going to put my right leg forward this time. And then you can use something a bit lower if that's too hard to be able to stay upright. Then just use, say, your um, fireplace or a couple of your books. And then again, just dropping down and lifting back up. Controlling down and lifting up nice and tall. Trying to keep those knees tracking over the toes. So the knees, hips and feet are all in a line and we're not deviating off that. Just dropping straight down, whoops, 
and straight back up again. And just do two more like this. So just dropping straight down and then lifting straight back up again. Dropping down and straight back up. Okay, so that's the first one of group B. So then take your backpack off and I'm actually just gonna lift up the camera just a wee touch. Hopefully make it easier for you to see. So our next one then is our thrusters. So you might work, need to work out just how best to hold your bag. And uh, hold the bag. So keeping the elbows tucked in, start off with. Just coming down into that squat. And then from here we're going to explode up and lifting the arms up overhead. So squatting down and then powering up, lifting the ball or the, the ball. Now ball on the brain here. So drop it down and then pressing your bag up overhead. So we're wanting to think about keeping our back straight, ribs tucked in, so we're not flaring in the back as we lift up overhead. I'll just do two more like this. And then that's group B done. So again, you would do the, those exercises another three times through. Um, again, adjusting the weight, adjusting the height of um, your leg where it's at for your Bulgarian split squat, and taking your rest after you've finished the two exercises. Okay, so our next ones are our single leg hip thrusts but we're elevating the leg that's planted on the ground just for a bit more of a challenge and I have a number of options here for you um, to go through there and then the second one is a backpack press so just what we were doing with the thrusters without the squat part of it okay so let's we'll take a few more minutes and um, get a wee drink of water so just take the recovery time Make sure then that you're fully recovered and ready to go again. So we're keeping the quality of the movements throughout the um, throughout the session. Okay, so our single leg hip thrusts. Then, as I say, we have a variety of options here. Um, so we can use the chair again. So you want to come up nice and close to the chair, and we're just going to lie down. And we're going to press both heels, which I'm going to come in a bit closer. So both heels onto the um, onto the chair, and I'm going to work my le or my right leg to start off with. So left foot comes off the um, off the chair, and then I'm going to lift the hips up. And I'm going to keep the hips um, touch the floor, and then power back up again. And I'm going to do ten of these on the right leg. So pressing down, slow down. And then powering up, squeezing the glutes, and you'll really feel that working in that right hamstring. So you can keep the arms down for balance, or you can lift the arms up just for a bit of extra challenge for whatever works for you. And that's one. And we're trying to keep the hips as level as possible as we go down and as we come back up again. Right, the other option. The other option is if that's too high or um, too um, too fiery on your hamstrings, you can use a pile of books. Um, so same sort of thing, just get your books stacked up, press the heel on it, I'm going to use my left leg this time, right leg hovers off the ground and then I'm just powering that left uh, into that left leg and lifting the hips up. option is um, to just challenge the stability a bit more so I've got two cushions here and that means it's not a firm surface but it's also um, still a bit higher than off the ground so my muscles are having to work really hard to keep stable throughout um, the exercise so I'll just do my last five on this um, on the cushion so pressing the heel in and then lifting those hips up 
And again, you'll feel your hamstrings working hard. And then just bring both feet down to the floor. And then we'll move on to, we'll move on to our um, backpack press. Okay. So, grab your backpack again, and then just come on back up to standing. Right. And from, the backpack will go from your waist, and then we're just reaching it up overhead. Okay. So again, slow down, and then powering up overhead. And we're just trying to reach those arms up as high as possible. And again, if that's too easy, then add a few more books into your bag or grab your kettlebell as well. If it's heavier, then we're reaching that up overhead and then controlling the descent on the way down. And I'm trying to keep my ribs down at the front so I'm not arching my back. And there's no strain or pain in the lower back. And we're doing 10 of those. And once we've finished that, that is um, our third group of exercises. So you'll do those again um, four times through in total. So two groups of 10 for each of your single leg um, hip thrust, 10 each side, and then 10 overhead presses with your backpack. The final one, we've got four exercises in group D. So our burpees, which we're all familiar with. Um, and then we have some squat jumps, again, with our backpack, so with a bit of weight. And then we're doing front raises with the backpack again. And then the last one is a real good exercise for um, firing up our abdominal muscles so with our hollow holes okay so we will get into get into those now i'm just going to move this down a wee touch just so we can see hopefully a bit better what's happening okay so for our burpees um touching the floor with our chest and then getting up off the floor again just be just be aware of your surroundings, so um, I'm going to move my chair out of the way. I can't fully elevate my hands if I jump because I want to hit the ceiling. So just be aware of, um, of what's around you then. So, get these out of the way. Alright, so for our burpees then, hands down, feet back, chest to the floor, and then pressing up, feet underneath, and then jumping up. I'm going to tuck myself in and away we go again. And we're doing 10, 10 of these. So there's two, three, guys so straight into our squat jumps then do the backpack on I want to make sure that it's nice and tight so it's not going to move too much around our back okay so um going to just we're coming down into our squat and then jumping up coming down and jumping up okay and we want to see if we can do that continuously. So down and up, down and up. Ten. Good stuff. Whew. That'll definitely get the heart rate going anyway. Okay, so the next one then we're going straight into our frontal raises. So grab the backpack at the front and then we're just reaching the arms up overhead or up in front of us and then coming back down again so from the side coming up and lowering back down again 
keeping the shoulders away from the ears, keeping the tummy engaged and keeping the arms straight. And as the bag starts swinging, we're just using our core muscles and our arms to stabilize and control the movement. And we're just doing 10 of these as well. Finally then, of this group of exercises, um, we're going into our hollow holds. So for this one, um, this is all about getting our abdominal muscles, our core muscles, those ones that give us all that stability for a passing, jumping and landing, fired up. So again, there's a number of options for you here that we can work through. So we'll start off lying down on your back. And to begin with, we want to make sure, so our spine naturally curves away from the ground um, at our lower back. You might be able to get your hand in underneath your back, or you might feel that there's less pressure on your lower back onto the mat. So the first thing we'll want to do is draw the tummy in, and then so the pelvis will tilt, and you're flattening your lower back onto the mat. And if you do that, you'll really feel your abdominal muscles starting to work to keep you in that position. Right. So we're going to keep in that position. You can still keep breathing, keep talking and um, keep working through, but we're really keeping that lower back flat into the mat. From there, I'm going to bring my arms back overhead. Now, as I do that, my ribs want to flare away from the mat and my lower back wants to arch. So I'm really having to work hard to keep those tummy muscles working and yeah, keeping the lower back in contact with the mat. If that's comfortable, and I can do that, no problem, then I'm going to lift my head off the mat. Again, thinking about the fingertips reaching away past my ears, still drawing the tummy down. If that's comfortable, bring your feet together and your knees together, and then I'm going to hover the feet off the mat. So I'm starting to get challenged here now, drawing the tummy muscles in. And then finally, if that's easy enough for you, still able to keep the lower back, or back into the mat, then you just lengthen the legs away. And we're holding that, whatever one of those positions um, is where you're at, you're holding that for 30 seconds. All right, so it might be that you start off, that we have our legs lengthened away, and we're able to draw the tummy in and imprint the lower back. And then for the next set, it might be that I'm just bending the legs, and then it might be that I have my head down and I'm really drawing those tummy muscles in to keep that hold. And that is the four exercises of group D. And uh, that's us finished with our session one of block two's workout. Thanks Mike, that's a real, um, really spicy one. You really feel that in the abs um, after those hollow holds. So, um, yeah, good luck with it. Let us know how you get on. Um, we'll be back again on Thursday to go through session two um, with a few new exercises in it as well. And all these exercises will be loaded up onto our website. So the training, um, training program section on the club's part of the Netball NI website. And they'll also be on the YouTube channel as well. So just find Netball NI on YouTube and uh, you'll find all these workouts here as well. So um, as I say, Mike's here if you want to ask him any questions um, or send us some feedback um, ahead of Thursday's one. But thanks very much for joining us and um, yeah, all the best guys.